from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, January the 6th, 2022. It appears that Israel will lift its remaining COVID travel restrictions. Health Ministry Director General Nachman Ash said the list of so-called red countries will be canceled and that starting Sunday, Israel will open its borders to vaccinated tourists from those countries, including the United States, that were barred for the last several weeks in an effort to slow the spread of the Omicron variant. And for Israeli residents, it would allow them to fly freely to those destinations beginning tomorrow, Friday. The decision still awaits approval from the Knesset. It was made, Ash said, because keeping the borders closed would not significantly help the already high rate and spread of the coronavirus variant in Israel. Israel's health ministry continues, however, to advise that the public avoid any unessential travel. Israel's foreign minister, Yair Lapid, said he spoke last night over the phone with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken about regional and global challenges and the importance of putting pressure on Iran to stop its race to a nuclear weapon. Secretary Blinken, he wrote, reiterated the U.S. administration's commitment to Israel's security. State Department spokesperson Ned Price wrote of the conversation as well, saying the secretary and foreign minister discussed a range of regional and global challenges, including Iran. Secretary Blinken, he wrote, reiterated the administration's ironclad commitment to Israel's security. Renowned Israeli songwriter, poet, and author Yoram Taharlev has died. Taharlev wrote over 1,000 songs, more than 70 books, and countless poems. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett wrote, Thank you, Yoram, for the songs you left and the love of the country you spread. Among the songs noted by Bennett, which he said he sang while on walking trips through the country, was a song to inspire doing just that. Kum vehitalech ba'aretz, come and walk yourself through the land. One of the many Tahar Lev songs made famous by the IDF's entertainment unit, La Katzvait. Come and walk yourself through the land with your backpack and stick, and there on your journey you'll rediscover the land of Israel. The paths will embrace you of this good country. She will call you to her like a love song. Yoram Tahar Lev passed away today. He was 83. Well, a rabbi you may be very familiar with for the Friday night services she leads that we broadcast here on JBS. Angela Bookdahl was a recent clue on Jeopardy. Bookdahl, who leads Central Synagogue in New York City, appeared as a clue on the game show last Wednesday night in a category titled I Am Woman. Uh, I Am Woman 8. Korea-born Angela Bookdahl is the first Asian American to be ordained a cantor, as well as this leader of a Jewish congregation. Ben, what is rabbi? You got it. Bookdahl shared on her Facebook page the next day, I was so happily surprised to be on Jeopardy last night. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, January the 6th at 7 o'clock. It's Talmud study at 7.30. Eli Kohanim speaks with pastor and founder of Eagle's Wings, Robert Stearns, about the love of Israel. At 8, Jonathan Tobin is joined by historian and author Andrew Roberts to discuss anti-Semitism in Great Britain among other things, on Top Story. At 9, Mark Golub speaks with real estate developer and film producer Charles Cohen about his film Red Trees. Director Marina Willer's uplifting story of her father's family's survival in Nazi-occupied Prague. At 10, Rebecca Abrams shares images from her book Jewish Treasures from Oxford Libraries. And coming up next, it's Good Week Israel. 
And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, January the 6th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.